Hi, my name's Kaylee from Kaylee's Cards, and I'm back today with another video all about the Scallop Tag Topper Punch. Today I've created um, a, I guess it's sort of like a milk carton box. Um, I've done it in these colours, but I really hate these colours, so the one I'm going to show you next is different. This is Wisteria Wonder, and I've never used it before, so I was really challenging myself to use it and I'm not a fan. So, I'm going to do Clips of Coral and I've got some designer series paper instead. So first thing what you need to do is do the, the belly of the box. So to take, so for this you need a piece of cardstock three inches by eight and a quarter. And I'm gonna score one inch down the long side And then I'm going to score at two, four, six, and eight. Now you could quite easily make this um, thinner, and you just score it to five, seven, and then eight, and that would be really nice as well. So now I've done this part. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, throw my scissors across the desk is cut up to the one inch line just to create some tabs and I'm going to get rid of this small section because we don't need that and I'm just going to burnish each edge as you can see I still can't find my bone folder I have ordered a new one so hopefully it will be here soon no idea where that's gone And then all I did to fix this together was took my Tombow and I just folded the box round. Now this is a quick treat so it's all about not using too much cardstock. So as you can see I'm just folding it around and then I'm going to put some glue on the tab and stick that together and now I've got a cute little box and to create the edges rather than using the same cardstock I've gone for some DSP which is design series paper and I'm going to score this at two and three and a quarter I need two of these. And this, um, the side where I've done the two and three quarter line is the one I'm going to punch. So I'm just going to burnish these four lines. And this is a treat you could really make in mass, so you could make loads of these. And because they're two inches by two inches, you can actually fit quite a lot of stuff, quite a few sweets in there. So they would make a nice um, like party bag. And all I'm doing is on the bigger part, I'm just adhering some glue and I'm going to slide that inside of the box and stick it down. And I'm going to do the same on this one. And as you can see, that slides in like that and fits together. So to decorate the box, I've just taken some white cardstock and I'm going to score this at two, four, six and eight and a little bit so just go over the eight mark so just probably around eight and one eighth 
it'll leave you with a very small tab but because you're wrapping it around the edge and you just need a little extra give on the end So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back and stick that down. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tab. And that just wraps around like a belly band and sticks. And then I'm going to take some ribbon. I'm wanting the bottom to be quite plain. Um, you can stamp it up and decorate it however you want. I'm just going to take some ribbon and put a bow on the top. In fact, I'm not going to do a bow, I'm just going to do a knot, if I can. I can't even cut the ribbon. There we go. And I'm just playing with that stitch right. And then you can um, embellish the front however you want. I just put a bow on the front of this one and some ribbon all the way around. So thank you for watching. I really love to see how you make yours and then how you um, design it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening.